It's Monday. Oh my gosh. Good morning, after the. My name is Seth. And I'm Jonah. Please rise for a moment of silence and the pledge to the flag. Dude. Join us in fighting to beat childhood cancer by participating in this coming week's Spirit Week. Show off your style by dressing up according to each day's theme. On Monday, today, dress up in camouflage to show courage. On Tuesday, wear thon and Penn State gear to show wisdom. On Wednesday, we're having a whiteout Wednesday. Let's go. Thursday, Hawaiian, dress up like Hawaiian to show honesty. And Friday, wear your mini-thon shirts to represent strength. Each day that you participate would be a great way to show your support for this cause. Don't forget, after, this, after the high school's mini-thon will be held March 3rd. It's not too late to register. We hope to see you there. Attention, seniors. The effort of National Bank scholarships, including the Hispan Scholarship, are now open. Log on to Naviance Family Connection to complete your applications. Apply today and get free money for college. Applications and all materials are due by March 31st. Now over to Mason with the news. You know, the dishonest media, they'll say, Grr, Mondays. An explosion in a store reportedly killed at least four shoppers in Leicester, United Kingdom this morning. The explosion is not currently being linked to terrorism, even though police and rescue workers don't expect to find much in the rubble of the building. The city police chief has been adamant about the fact that the situation is still a search and rescue mission as people might be trapped in voids under fallen debris. On this day in 1919, and then 10 years later in 1929, two national parks were preserved a decade apart. In 1919, President Wilson dedicated the Grand Canyon as a national park, continuing what Teddy Roosevelt had done when he declared it a national monument in 1908. Then on this day in 1929, President Coolidge dedicated the Grand Tetons in Wyoming, and today the park spans 309,993 acres. Now over to Mr. Myers and Alex Hawker with lunch. Let's see what some of my other students are up to here. Oh, we have Hawker here, Alex Alexander Hawker. Uh, would you like to read lunch today, sir? Sure. All right, well, for today for lunch, we have a spaghetti and meatballs with a whole grain Texas garlic toast. Chicken bacon Swiss with a whole grain roll. An Italian grinder. BLT with cheese and whole grain toast. A chef salad. French fries. Seasoned green beans. Fresh baby carrots or celery with dip. Chilled peaches, fresh fruit, or slushy. a slushy. Gotcha. In sports resorts, congratulations to all five athletes who competed at the indoor state track and field meet yesterday at Penn State. Tyler Shu broke his own indoor school record and finished in second place in overall in the 800 meter run with a time of 153.85. The 4x800 meter relay team of Tyler Shu, Tanya Luce, Adrian Morales, and Andrew Foster finished in third place overall a new indoor school record time of 757.71. Jenna Razor finished in 14th place overall with her best put of the day at 36 feet 4.5 inches. Well done, effort at track and field, and once again, a huge congratulations to all the athletes who competed. Attention all athletes that signed up for spring sports. All physicals and research forms are due to the athletic office ASAP. There will be a girls lacrosse mandatory parent player meeting on Wednesday, February 28th. Attention to all athletes who plan on competing on the spring track and field team. There will be a preseason team meeting today, Monday, February 26th, after school at 2.45 in the high school cafeteria. Please plan on attending this meeting. The 2018 Olympics Winter Games came to a close with Norway taking the top medal count spot, followed by Germany, Canada, and the USA in fourth. Now back to the main desk. Up for an adventure, willing to try something you never have before? I know, uh, I know Danny DeVito, wherever, um, yeah, he, he is. 
Go on a blind date with a book this February. The, the entire month there will be books covered, some with topics, genres, and minimal information on the outside, available for checkout. For every blind date you check out, you will be entered to win a free drink at the Media Center. Fall in love with a good book. Attention juniors, Miller, Miller, Millersville University will be hosting a college fair on Thursday, March 15th. This fair attracts approximately 150 different colleges, universities, and trade school representatives. This is a great opportunity for 11th graders to interact with, with and learn about different colleges. The itinerary includes attending the college fair, having lunch in the Millersville Dining Hall, and taking a campus tour. If you're interested in attending, please print out a field trip permission packet from Schoology. Space is limited, so don't delay. Well, uh, for the... We just want to wish you a Grr Monday stay. And by the way, that's for Clay. <laughs> Have a great day after that. <laughs>